What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for an update video because it's been a while since we had a heart to heart and I've got a lot of things to talk to you guys about. There's been a lot going on in recent months and recent weeks especially and lots of changes coming, lots of very exciting ones though and I do want to talk to you about those. So I am currently filming this on vacation. I'm at the beach right now. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be putting this out but I'll probably upload it to both channels just because I know I've got a lot of people that are on ARTV that aren't on Beyond ARTV and plenty that are vice versa the other way around. So so just bear with me in case you accidentally see the video twice. Sorry, it's the same video. The very first thing I want to talk about today is just a thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to my channels. Both of my channels this summer are going to pass 100,000 subscribers, so consider this an early thank you to everybody. Both of my channels are in the 90s when it comes to like 90,000, and that's just mind-blowing to me because I've been working towards this goal for so long. I started ARTV in 2009, Beyond ARTV launched in 2013 and just in the past two or three years things really took off and I really just kept pushing for it and you guys were there to support me and as I figured out the content that I wanted to make and that you guys wanted to see so thanks for sticking around I do hope that you've been enjoying everything from the ranked episodes that are a little bit more time consuming and a lot of work those in the top tens to just the regular album reviews song reviews seven on Sunday on Beyond ARTV the other series that I have that you guys seem to have been enjoying uh, yeah thank you for supporting the content. Thanks for sticking around for all these years. It's definitely a sense of accomplishment that I'm feeling and also pride. I'm finally going to be getting two of those silver play buttons for passing 100,000 subscribers and that's something that I'm not ashamed to say that I am proud of. It's okay to be proud of yourself when you accomplish things and this just goes to show you if someone like me can set out and start from nothing with literally no production cost whatsoever. I had a webcam when I started. You can actually turn yourself into something and gain a following online. A huge congratulations to everybody out there that's really shooting up in subs and of course to the needle drop the inspiration for us all over 1.5 million subs now which is insane. Number two on the agenda something that I want to go ahead and get out of the way because this is the big news right here and some people are going to say John you're crazy others are going to say John congratulations you've been working for this for so long and I hope that you're on the second side of that fence because I truly am proud of what's going on here. So, officially, I have quit my day job. I no longer do anything other than YouTube, and this is incredibly scary, especially with YouTube being in the state that it's in over the past year or two, with things getting demonetized and everything like that, but it's consistent enough and stable. I would not make this decision unless I felt at least somewhat comfortable, but I was also to the point where I was thinking, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it. And sometimes you just have to take that risk and it feels like jumping off of a cliff and in the suspense and the free fall, you're thinking maybe this won't go right, but when you actually land in the water, everything's okay. With that being said, I actually feel really good about this decision decision and a little bit relieved as well because even while I was still having my doubts and my fears when I turned in my three week notice at work I wanted to be nice and give a three week heads up I used to work in sales more specifically mattress sales which I know how does that link up to YouTube and what I do here it doesn't that was just what was uh, kind of paying the bills for a while obviously most of us in the YouTube scene especially in the music community have had day jobs at some point or are continuing to do that and I just want to give a little shout out to everybody out there still grinding you can do it you can get there and I appreciate the words from Rob Scallon he actually reached out to me last year thanked me for using his little riff that I use in the intro which everybody always ask about it's Kendrick Lamar swimming pools on the bass played by Rob Scallon he's credited in the description of every video but he reached out to me and said I just wanted to say I know that you know you're pushing on like uh, YouTube and on Patreon just keep it up keep going and you can turn this into a full-time thing and this is exactly where we're at and I'm so so excited but I also need you guys' continued support it's watching the videos, it's being engaged, it's sharing out the videos, it's not just the Patreon supporters, and I feel like people get lost in the fact that John is just looking for more Patreon supporters, or he's wanting you to buy his merch, and I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with me pushing for that, but it's not just that. That's not what I'm trying to get across. Just you guys coming back, tuning into the videos, and uh, like I said, sharing them with friends, helping new people find the channels, 
that helps out just as much and it's incredible to see how much word of mouth and sharing has truly done to grow the channels in the past few months even especially. And when I put in my notice at work, like I said, I was still a bit hesitant, but in the past month over the course of May and even the start of June, things have grown tremendously for me. I gained over 5,500 subscribers on Beyond ARTV, over 3,000 on ARTV, and I'm, I'm so proud of that, and I'm also incredibly happy. It was a feeling of relief just to feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm putting myself out there. I quit my job. Oh my God, is this going to work? And it just felt like a sign, like, okay, you did the right thing here. You're not going to be living on the street somewhere. And it's been a good month overall, even though I've been battling some sickness and everything like that, I cannot complain and I'm very happy. Now to those of you who would like to get more directly involved in supporting ARTV, Patreon is a great tool. I already talked about sharing and watching, that's fantastic and it truly does help. But Patreon is a great way to support me directly and help me run both of my channels. It's not just me. My girlfriend, who you guys probably know as Infinity on Hannah, is paid by me from Patreon money every single month because she works for me at this point. As many videos as I put out, it's not possible for me to edit and just do everything all by myself. Not only does she do thumbnail designs, she also edits many of my videos, such as the Seven on Sunday series, the Dear John Q&A, top tens, everything like that. So you're supporting both of us and helping us follow our passions because she loves editing, she loves graphic design, and this is a great way for you to actually contribute and I am able to pay the editor what she deserves to be paid. It's not just that, but obviously Patreon in general helps out when videos get demonetized, just supporting in general when ad rates are always fluctuating. I never know how much I'm gonna make each month. It depends on if I get a lot of views one month and maybe the next month things aren't is great and maybe I just don't have a video to make something about and I don't always want to be that guy that's just maybe I don't know cashing in on a reaction or something like that I want to make the content that you guys want to see but also the content that I would want to watch myself and the content that I'm proud of so patreon makes that possible and if you are able to especially with me going out on a limb quitting my job, I don't want you to think that I am leaning on Patreon as a crunch. It's just a great fallback in terms of maybe something happens with YouTube ads. You never know. And if you're able to, please help me get to that next level. I'm shooting for $700 a month on Patreon currently. Update number three, my girlfriend who I was just talking about, Infinity on Hannah, has moved in with me. We are living together in North Carolina now. We are so happy that our long distance relationship is behind us. We were very proud of what we accomplished of being together for over two years in an LGR, but we have overcome that long distance and we are now finally living together. She graduated college, she went for graphic design and multimedia. I'm so incredibly proud of her and you guys just let her show her some love in the comments. She works incredibly hard, not just for me, but also for herself and whatever else that she works on. If you need any graphic design work, she is available for freelance. I will put a link to her website, all of the reviews that she's already gotten, some of her thumbnail work, and everything that you see from the intros to the thumbnails on this channel, it is all done by Hannah. She's masterful at what she does and it truly does help improve the value of your channel and maybe even the views and attention that you get. We're happily settling in together though. We've got our hamsters all together again, all three of them, Jonas, Mingo, and Lucy. We have been to Boston and that just lined up back to back with this beach trip and we've had incredibly generous people around us. My aunt offered us her place as a graduation gift for Hannah, so we did not have to pay for anything there. Hannah's mom came with us as well, and she's been taking care of everything since we got this free place for her, and it's just been incredible to see the blessings that have been put on us, and just things are not always positive, but you also have to look for the positives, and sometimes I get too focused on the negatives, so that's just a little advice that I need to take myself and that I'd love to pass on to anybody struggling out there. Thanks for helping support us in this next venture in life. It is scary, but at the same time, I'm confident in my decision. I'm always a number cruncher, and I wouldn't have done this if I didn't feel at least, like I said, somewhat comfortable, but I just had to take that jump. I had to take that risk because I knew that if I just kept staying stagnant, then there would be no point, and maybe I would never commit to actually going full-time on YouTube. It could be a bold move or even a dumb move, according to some, but I hope to prove that wrong if you do think that it's bad. Anyways, thanks for watching this update video. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let me know what you think about everything in the comment section down below. The top link in the description is my Patreon page, or else there is an annotation 
information on screen here. Other than that, you could watch a couple of recent videos here, subscribe to Hannah's channel as well, linked in the description, and I'll see you soon on ARTV or Beyond ARTV.